everybody. I hope you're all well. Um, today's talk is questions to ask at the end of a nursing interview. I get asked this by many students and staff. What do I say when the interviewer says, do you have any questions for us? So I'll present a few simple example questions in this video and I hope you find it helpful. So one of the things I'm asked is, do I have to ask questions and how many should I ask? I would always suggest asking a question if you're invited to at the end. So the interviewer says, do you have any questions for us at the end of the interview? So it shows genuine interest in the role and the service. Ideally, ask a couple of good questions. Interviewers have a tight schedule. They have to complete all the interviews that day. So a couple of questions is ideal, no more than that. And you want to leave the interviewer with a positive impression. So ask positive questions. Don't focus on the negative. It also isn't the place to start negotiating a different banding. You should have considered that before applying. Once offered the role, you might want to discuss your pay scale if you feel you've got valuable skills and they need to, your pay scale needs to reflect your past experiences, but that should be done outside the remit of the interview. So there are four key areas really that um, for potential questions. The first are questions about the specific role, the specialism or setting. Then we've got questions about support, supervision and training that's available for you. Then we've got questions about career development opportunities for your future career progression. And finally, questions that are specific to you and your individual, individual needs. And sometimes these questions may be better placed before you apply for a role or after you're offered a role. It depends on the context. Um, the best questions, in my opinion, to ask are those about your development and support as they really show that you're aspiring to develop your career with this employer. So some example questions linked to firstly the role, the specialism or setting. The first thing I would say is do your groundwork and find out if there's any plans for amalgamation of services or any new ways of team working relating to the role that you've applied for. Review the job description. And you could potentially ask questions about those future plans. So I've seen on the trust intranet that there's plans for X, Y or Z, and that would lead to questions such as what key priorities are the team or the service currently working on? Or how do you envisage the future of this particular service and what's happening in the future? And or you could state an interest in an area and ask about local networks. So you might say my dis dissertation focused on tissue viability and I wondered who I could network with locally to further my interest. Or as a um, newly registered nurse, I was a link nurse for however many years and I wondered if there was a lo local network in this area. So these questions are specific to the role, the specialism or the setting. So if you want to ask questions linked to support, training and education, which are good questions to ask, some examples might be what specific training will I be offered in the first few months or six months or year if I'm offered the role? Or what support and su supervision will I receive? What preceptorship support will I receive if you're newly registered? Do you offer clinical supervision in the role? How is clinical supervision offered or delivered to staff? Are there opportunities to complete post-registration courses or post-registration course funding opportunities? So um, I wouldn't ask all of those questions, obviously, but, th but they're the sort of questions that potentially you could pick one or two if you wanted to look at support, training and education. I do have some helpful videos on my YouTube channel that might be helpful to listen to before you ask questions about training, supervision and education, such as which post-registration nursing course, how do I get funding for UK post-registration nursing courses, and there's um, a video on preceptorship or clinical supervision for nurses as well that you might find helpful. So the third area is career development opportunities. So you might ask what career opportunities are available with you as an employer? What opportunities are there to develop and progress my career with you? And then looking at collaborative um, leading or linking to opportunities. So you might want to develop your career linked to service improvement or service evaluations or clinical governance, for example, or have an interest in risk management or evidence based practice or shadowing leads or shared decision making. So it's helpful if you knew um, 
you might go on an informal visit, for example, and know that there is um, these opportunities, or you might just be asking. So I wouldn't ask all of those, obviously, but if you have an interest in any of those, asking if there's an opportunity to develop and network and link to service improvement um, is great question to ask in, in an interview. So if you are interested in service evaluation or risk management, clinical governance or advanced practice or research, I've got um, several videos that may be helpful on my YouTube channel. And also, if you have to prepare a presentation for a nurse interview, I have a video um, that's helpful there, too. So finally, we've got questions on your individual needs, and I would try to ask these questions before an interview or during an informal visit, or you might have a Teams meeting where possible. If they're linked to, for example, childcare or caring responsibilities and you need certain days off or shifts twice a week, for example, mainly because it's a waste of your time applying for a role if they can't accommodate your needs. So but I, I do understand that sometimes you might not be able to get hold of a recruitment need. You go for your interview. So, you know, you might have to ask in an interview. Um, if you do try to be as flexible as possible. Um, if you've got caring responsibilities so that you can try and negotiate and be as flexible as possible. Um, I do have a video on choosing your first post that helps you narrow down and um, talks about what to look at in an informal visit as well that might be helpful. So I hope you found um, the questions helpful. If you have any questions, do put them in the YouTube questions and do give me a thumbs up if you found this talk helpful um, and if you would prefer to dm me privately for questions you can dm me on twitter or my website and do check out my other videos on my youtube channel